Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Ocean for All. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about GitHub investigations. So this discussion was happening in our Discord server. If you haven't already joined our Discord server, you can go and join our Discord server. Our moderator Shiny has written an article about this. And this thing is not a very, you know, like a super cool thing or something. Anyone can do it, even if you don't know what is GitHub or you don't know anything about version control systems or Git or anything like that, you can do it. Now I'll show you how you can do it. Uh, this is my GitHub account and this is one of my repository. And this looks normal, nothing cool about it. So you have to pay attention for this some alpha numeric character that you see on any you know like folder or file you just click on that and here you can see yeah nothing special there is some random things here you can see it says like commit it means it is a kind of commit id or a commit number or something uh, you can see the full version of this fed and uh, whatever but here is the catch you go here and uh, at the end you just type dot p a t c h and magic now you can see some information which could be a potential information in some cases here you can see this is like a commit id or something and here you can see from Amogavasha, that's my name and this is the interesting part here it says uh, John Doe at example.com it is saying that okay that is my email which is not so this is a tip like a OSINT tip or something let's say if there is a website that is hosted on GH pages that is like github pages and on that website there is some sort of uh, socially unacceptable things or some malicious content or if they have uh, you know leaked some personal information right so these kind of static websites might be created because they are free and you don't have to pay for the domain or the server you don't have to register you just need to have an email address and uh, a password so that you can get the access to gh pages so that's why there might be a chance of perpetrators taking an advantage of this and hosting something which is nasty and which is uh, kind of offensive or something like that so i am going to tell you how this could be done and if this data what we find on the commit of any github commits that have been made is this legit or this could be used for your OSINT investigation we will see before that i am going to show you some sort of basics or something uh, let me tell you a difference between github.com and git so git is like a technology it is like a software and github.com is just a website where it facilitates to host your data or your projects or something like that and git will provide you an opportunity to upload the files or whatever the changes to the github.com from your terminal okay you just need to know this simple things now i can show you how this information could be a false positive right now here it says like amogavasha and here it is giving me some sort of you know like email address or something uh here it happens like this i'll say git config and uh, global and I'll say user dot name. Yeah, now you can see like Amogorsha. And um, I'll say instead of username, I'll say like email. Now here you can see like John Doe at example.com. So what's happening here is when I committed this file, this whatever the file or I made some changes, let me go back and I show you so here it says i committed this file like 23 hours ago and as you can see here uh, in my i did that from my terminal right i just uh, downloaded this git software and i just uh, manage everything on my terminal so i uploaded some sort of change or i was you know testing something and this thing in my config file 
okay even if you don't know what is a config file it's nothing but a configuration file and uh, in most of the softwares there will be some sort of configuration files where you can edit if it is an open source uh, software or something like that so in the config file it gives an option to add your username and add your you know like email address here i just added my name because like uh, people know my name and i'm open in a way and i don't want people to see my you know like email address or anything so that's why i just added this thing that is like john doe at uh, example.com now i can just change it you know i can just change my email to like lol at lol.com something like that yeah nothing happened but if i go and check my what's my email now you can see that it says like lol and lol.com so if i make a commit or if i make any sort of change so now if we go to patch or something sorry not patch like uh, yeah if we commit that here you can see the email address like lol at lol.com if i commit from my computer which i'm not going to do and again this is the same in case of the name right um, i can just say that my name is like instead of amog i can say that uh, alpha something like that so now if i see that my name is like <coughs> alpha and so now my name is alpha and my email is lol at lol.com and even if i commit from my computer uh, this will say that oh this commit was made from a person called alpha and yeah his email address is like lol at lol.com so this could be a false positive sometimes and uh, this could not be ultimate solution or something like that i just showed you in some cases uh, there is a chance that let's say there is some uh, normie who is just trying to use github and he or she has hosted some sort of uh, website on gh pages which is kind of absurd and uh, if they have done that from their you know like terminal and if they have used their original email address fortunately or unfortunately then you can see you can take that email address and after that you can try to uh, you know like investigate that email address and try to make a connection to the person so this is how you can use this feature and um, that is it and yeah it's a uh, pretty simple and not only this commit okay you can go to any other commits that i have made from my uh, computer and you can see what is my email address or something and uh, this could only work if i have done this commit from my terminal right uh, if i have just uploaded files like drag and drop files from my computer to this then here it will show you something like sorry mm. Yeah, in the in our commits, it will show you something like um, maybe amogavarsha one three three seven and uh, dot at no reply dot com or something like that. So it will give you some sort of randomized uh, email address just for the sake of you know like um, um, GitHub or something like that. So that is how you do it and uh, that's the video probably i'll be making another video on github like on github docs or something in the future this i just wanted to show you and uh, yeah here it is so like this video share this video and also subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video ciao